So, how do I or you burn um, games onto blank discs to play on your Dreamcast, your Sega Dreamcast? And the reason you might want to do this is because you have a old game like I have. They're all old games, of course, uh, but this particular one, V-Rally uh, 2, the Expert Edition, uh, the disc in this, the original disc, has started to become a little bit unreliable. So I've gone and made myself a copy of this so I can continue playing it. And because I already own the original, this is perfectly acceptable for me to do. And I'm going to show you how you can do the same for the same reason, for the same reason, of course. Um, so let's go over to my desktop and uh, have a look and go through the process now hopefully i won't miss any steps so if i do or you need anything clarified leave a, a comment down below but let's head over there so here is my desktop and uh, the first thing we go to is going to go excuse me the first thing we're going to do is go to google and type in img burn and from the uh from now on i'm just going to call this image burn because i'm pretty certain the img is just shorthand for image burn here it is first result click on that here's our home page and we're going to go to the downloads tab over in the top left of the screen so hit downloads and you'll be presented with seven different mirrors from which to download the software from. It's been recommended and I've done the same thing that you use mirror number seven, uh, which is provided by uh, ImageBurn themselves. So click on that and let that download. So that's already happened down here. Um, now, before you open that up as well, you need to download some files, three files, and they can be found by scrolling all the way down to the bottom of the browser as I just did there and looking for this part of the website, excuse me, didn't mean to highlight all that. This basically down here, this paid us part. So paid us .cdi file mounter version one, blah, 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 blah. And here is the mirror uh, link that you need to click on that. So just we'll download that too. Now, what you'll do next is you'll open up the, um, this then run run the program run image burn set it up run up the setup and um we'll just assume you know how to do that i've already got it here uh, but before we can use image burn to successfully burn discs that will play on our sega dreamcast we need to open up this folder that we just downloaded with these three files and we literally drag and copy all of those and then what we want to do is go to our c drive normally under this PC, find the C drive and on a Windows 64 bit uh, version or anything else, or basically, I don't know, window, for my case, it's Windows 10 64 bit. Um, I need to go to this program files x86 folder, scroll down, find the image burn folder here, IMG burn, click on that. And I've already pasted these files into this folder. And that's all you need to do is literally paste them in and you will then have these three files in this folder as well and your folder should basically be stacked like this so once you've done that you can close this and you can then open in my case i already have it but you should you know if you did already restart um, image burn and have it open up and this is what you'll be presented with um first of all i've already done it but you want to go and find the the game of which you want to burn a copy of so in that case find wherever you have found your games and pick the relevant one and uh, there it is so it's very important as well if you've never done this before and you're you know you found a copy of the game you want to make a copy of um that you take the cd cdi file excuse me i'm better uh the cdi file and not the gdi file which is where you'll find some um you'll find some websites offering you that and a lot of them offer you both but the cdi file is what you need uh for burning it onto disk the gdi file is generally just for uh playing on emulators based on your desktop but we're working on real hardware here today and we want to burn onto a blank disk so you grab yourself a blank disk um any any disk should do but try and buy the the highest quality disk you can excuse me my headphones are going a bit wonky i'm told verbatim are very good um, um, and these ones are some other lesser make um, and to be honest both of them have been just as good and as bad as each other um, but go for the highest you can I suppose um, put your disc into your optical drive or you can use an external one in my case or you can use one on a laptop if you have an old laptop lying around you can repurpose it for this um, make sure that you click the verify um, check mark here as well I'll explain what that is in a minute and also you'll see over here the write speed. Now, if your optical drive is capable of really slow speeds, they're not all, generally you'll find that 10, 10X is the slowest speed a lot of drives will go to nowadays. But it's recommended you choose the lowest speed on here 
um, but it's irrelevant if yours doesn't do that speed and you don't need to worry either because even if you choose 1x and yours doesn't do 1x the software will determine what's the best speed or the slowest speed that your drive can do so you choose the slowest doesn't mean you'll necessarily get that but the software will try and give you the slowest speed that your drive is capable of doing and you can follow the uh, the activity here in the log window below so I'd recommend you leave this window open as well don't just close it um, anyway once you've done that check to verify chose your speed you can literally hit here and hit right this will take approximately 10 to 15 minutes depending on your your optical drive um, and when that has completed the burn your optical drive is going to be opened up it's going to eject your disc and a little pop-up will present itself on screen i can't do that for you now because i've already burnt this game and it'll take forever to do but trust me this is what happens once the burn has completed it's not completed really it's just ejected the disc from the uh, optical drive and you need to follow the instructions on screen it's literally going to say put the disc back in and hit okay all right and that's it and it's just going to verify the disc and make sure the disc is all good really i mean I'm not too sure exactly why you have to do this, but I've done it every time and uh, I've had a good success rate. So I would say go along, don't change it if it's not broken. Um, and that is pretty much it. Uh, other than a tip from me would be to, um, when the disc has finished doing the burn and the verify, leave the disc to cool down for about 10 minutes, 10 to 15 minutes. I found that if I took the disc straight out of the drive and place it straight into my Dreamcast and it's over here, you can't see it, but I will we'll do a test now in a second. Um, the games wouldn't work and I got very despondent and then angry and annoyed. I'd gone off and bought all these discs and set this whole thing up and it didn't work. Um, but I found after 10 or 20 minutes anyway, put the disc in and hey presto, it suddenly loads. It might take a couple of attempts as well sometimes. You might have to turn the, the system on and off. And just while I'm thinking of that, it doesn't matter what Dreamcast you have, what region it's from. Burning the discs um, in CDI image uh, circumnavigates any region lock. So you can use a Japanese, European or American Sega Dreamcast. It really doesn't matter. It should work across all of them. So let's go over to my um, screen here for my Dreamcast on the uh, capture card. We'll switch it on and I'll even bring in the controller so we can hear it being turned on. So you don't think I'm kind of pulling the wool over your eyes to do this on a desktop. Let's turn that on. Okay, that's my poor compression on my mic, we can hear it properly. So, uh, sound on. Yep, it's still 1998, at least it is in this house. And choose that. So you see, I'm using a Japanese uh, Dreamcast, I have a European one as well, and the same disc. This, in this case, V-Rally has worked in both systems. Might take a couple of attempts sometimes, but anyway, let's click. Usually this is a good sign when it restarts and uh, plays the splash screen again. So fingers crossed. And there we go. Okay, so I have used this disc before. It has worked. I knew, well, I kind of knew it would work already, but sometimes it doesn't. And if it didn't, I was just going to show you how I literally turn the system off and on again and give it another go. Another thing you can do if you want to try and verify whether your discs will work before wasting your time burning one is you can download an emulator and uh, try and run the very same CDI file in the emulator. And if it runs in that, even if the speed is a bit wonky from what, you're, what it should be, but at least if it opens and runs, um, that's usually a good sign and then you should have the confidence to go ahead and burn the disc. But even then, it's not a 100% uh, you know, a, a success rate. You could burn a disc and it may still not work. Actually, and just one thing while, I'll while we were loading that, I found that pressing start sometimes on the controller for some reason kind of maybe nudges it on in the process of booting into a game. So let's just uh, press start and we have full sound. And the game runs just as well as when I had it on the original disc. And in this case, it's running on a blank disc. Very similar to this, very similar to this. Um, hopefully this has been helpful for you, uh, in which case hit the like button, maybe leave a comment if you have any questions or you need me to clarify anything, I'll be more than happy to jump back in on the comments and uh, help you out of anything where I can. Or you can jo join my Discord server, which I'll leave a link for in the uh, description below and hop into that and leave me a message if you need help, if something's not worked for you or if I've skipped something, hopefully I haven't skipped anything in this case. And um, yeah, good luck. Remember, this is a good idea for backing up 
old games you already own all right don't go into the whole you know downloading it for free you know none of that piracy stuff um but very good idea if you have old games and they are expensive now to replace a lot of them and uh, hey presto you have a backup collection so you can maybe even leave your old collection away on the shelf and you know let it gain value or whatever Anyway, that's pretty much it. Um, so hit the subscribe button if it's been helpful as well. That'd be great if you could. And uh, join me on Twitch where we play retro games like this all the time. Uh, Twitch.tv forward slash Paul Hannon the DJ. Description will now go in below because I've said it and made a mental note. Other than that, I hope you have a great day and um, take care of yourself. Hopefully I'll uh, jump out of this very professionally using this button here. Good luck.